Hey Digifans, I'm pretty excited about this video because I want to show you how I create a couple layers of backgrounds when I first start my page. So this is really a basic thing. So let's go and we're going to go to my duplicate page that I created without the other doodads that I had on it. And I want to show you how you see this grid, you see the polka dots and it's little, the opacity's down. So let me show you what I did. So let's start with a brand new page. We're going to go to insert, add page, and we're going to start with a blank page. And I'm going to go up here to the background papers and I'm going to go to a day in the life. Uh, Kimberly, pick that one. <laughs> I think it's down here at the bottom. Or maybe it's days to remember. I get them all screwed up, but I know it's like the last one. Oh, maybe it's not. Let's just choose them all. There it is. Okay, we have a winner. All right, so you know, see how bright this is? I didn't want it that bright. So what I'm going to do is come over here to my punches. And I'm going to grab a square punch and hit apply. And close that out. And I'm going to drag this all the way across, make it a big old square punch. Vroom, vroom. All right, and I'm gonna fill it. <clears throat> this one, I'm gonna first fill with crumb cake cardstock. And I'm gonna bring that opacity way down. And maybe just a little, no, way down. Maybe a little bit more. And as you can see, it makes those polka dots not so bright. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So maybe just a, a little bit more, sorry. So I feel like I have more, I have that background, I have that texture, but I really have something that I can put on top of it and make it stand out some more. Um, but I wanted to add one more. I know, crazy. All right, so we're going to go back up here to your punches and you go ahead and grab another square punch. And... Put it on your screen there. And we're going to drag this one over just like we did the last one. Come down here. Now I'm going to add a little bit more texture because I love grids. So I'm going to come to Paper Fill. And this time I'm going to go to the right stuff. I like this paper. I liked it when we were using it. Um, the actual paper and then I really just love it period okay and now we're gonna just bring down the opacity of that one and now you can see you have the grid you have the polka dots you have a little bit of the crumb cake in there it's really a mishmash of everything but it is cool all right one more thing I really want to show you really quick I'm going to go to my hexagon punch, which is really popular and really one of my faves. I'm going to fill it. And we're just going to play fill it with this for right now. And I'm going to go to my dimensionals. Now, I bet you didn't know you had dimensionals in MDS. Pretty darn cool. You're going to come up here to what I call my dimensionals, otherwise known as drop shadow. And I'm going to give it a little drop shadow. And you see it looks like it's been popped up with dimensionals. Now that's pretty cool. I want to make this kind of the same thing. So I'm going to do, or make a duplicate one. So I'm going to go Command C for Command Copy, Command V for Paste. And on this one, I'm going to make just a wee bit smaller. Okay. And I'm going to put it over that hexagon. And look at how much dimension that adds. Isn't that cool? So now one of the other things that I'm going to do is hit Control. And hold down my, I mean, hit my command key and double click that. I'm going to make this go up to arrange and hit the group. Now, if I want, I can command C, command V, copy that. I'm going to move it up just a wee bit up here. Command V, I pasted another one, move that one over here. Once I get these all situated to how I want, now I'm going to come over here and do a color fill and change these colors up. So let's just make that one, 
I don't know what color that is, maybe tangerine tango. But you notice it changes the whole thing. And let's come up to this one. And we will change that color. Um, let's change it to that color. Sweet. Now, I'm going to command copy, command copy, and I'm going to come up here to my arrange again and hit group. Now, I'm going to move these all the way over here. I'm going to copy them and paste them. And now I can make this like a background. Paste again. And if you want these to fit in, you just fit them in like this. Instead of making one and then another and another, it saves you a ton of time. And it's really simple. So I hope you like that. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you again.